Right, in this video, we are going to talk about items that people purchased on Whatnot and sold for big money on a platform. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bola Buddies, before we get started here with these amazing items that people bought on Whatnot and sold on other platforms for big money, I wanna talk to you about a hat. And I picked up this hat during the hashtag Ben's Bingo Challenge, so it took a little while to sell, but there's a point to this. I had this listed for $40 free shipping on Mercari, $40 plus shipping on Poshmark, offers welcome, and on eBay, it was listed for $18.60 on sale, that's the sale price, and the buyer paid shipping. This item sold on Mercari for full asking price, no offer of $40 plus shipping. So is it important to get your items on multiple platforms? Absolutely. The person that bought this on Mercari they didn't check eBay. It was cheaper on eBay. Now, why did I have it cheaper on eBay? Well, I run sales on eBay and a lot of times on Mercari and Poshmark, I just list it and forget it and I don't really run sales and I just accept offers if people send them. So it just happened to stay at the $40 I originally listed it at and somebody came along and bought it. So can you make more on other platforms? Yes, sometimes. Yeah, it can happen. So if they would have bought it from eBay, they would have gotten the item cheaper. Right, so before we go on, let's talk about Mercari and Poshmark. There's a referral link down below. If you guys are not selling on those platforms and you're thinking about branching out, if you join Poshmark, you're gonna get $10 to shop with my referral link. If you join Mercari, you're gonna get $10 to shop, but you're also gonna get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items on Mercari. So that's $30 if you use my referral link down below. So check those out and then let's keep talking about ways to sell more stuff because we all want to sell more stuff, right? Diversifying, getting your items on other platforms, very important. I use List Perfectly. Um, it's a cross-posting service. You can use it if you like. Way I have a video down below, it looks like this. It tells you how to use the catalog. It also tells you how to cross-post like I cross-post. If you watch that video and it looks like something you may be interested in doing or using, uh, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. But different platforms, different eyes, different people are shopping on other platforms. So if eBay sales are slow, think about other platforms. And I'm on Mercari and Poshmark, but there is Grailed, Depop, Facebook, Etsy. There are so many platforms that you can get on Kittison. But in this video, we are talking about whatnot and get ready to have your socks knocked off. So can you source on whatnot? Absolutely. So in this video, I'm going to tell you where they got it, which is whatnot, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'll also tell you which platform they sold it on. So if you guys are not on whatnot, I definitely highly recommend it. I absolutely love it. I am buying and selling on whatnot. So come check me out down below. There is a link. It's a referral link. You will get $15 to shop if you use that to join. And if after watching this, you decide you may want to sell on whatnot, I also have a separate referral link for that, which will let whatnot know that I referred you. So check those links out down below. But let's start with the first bolo. It says, bought this on whatnot for less than $10 and sold on Facebook Marketplace for $65. It is a Jersey's Men's 2004 Racing Hoodie Black Darren Miller number 32D. And whoops, <laughs> I'm in a different area. It's over here. This is what it looks like. So it looks like $65 is what it sold for. So 10 into 65 is fantastic. Won a free pack November 5th, pulled this Mitsuri Moo Moo and sold it in a short time. I don't know what a Mitsu Mitsuri Cow Card Demon Slayer. Oh, 
Uh, it sold for $199 on Mercari. So I know there's different things that people do on whatnot. So one, a free pack. So maybe this was a giveaway. Harry Potter Bolo purchased on whatnot for a total of $34.71. Took a best offer of $290 plus shipping within six weeks. What makes this Harry Potter mirror of Iris or Rised worth more than others is the date. It is from the year 2000 prior to the movies making it book merch, not movie merch. Harry Potter Bolo. So this is what it looks like right here. Have you guys ever seen this? So I wonder if they knew when they bought it that it was a big money bolo. Hello, Courtney. Well, I'm finally getting around to sending this your way. Only two months later, LOL. This button was purchased on whatnot, Bolo Buddy. So she bought it from me. Yay. I don't know. Is that good or bad? No, I'm kidding. Um, I get excited when you guys buy things from me and flip them for a profit. I really appreciate you guys coming over and supporting me on whatnot. I'm glad you guys are getting some bolos. So she said, I paid $50 for an entire tin of interesting old buttons. But this one is why I wanted it. Knew it would be a good one. After doing research on WorthPoint, thanks to you. Yeah, I always tell you guys, WorthPoint is a great tool to research harder to find items. And uh, it just helps you get comparables to know how to list your item. I do have a link for WorthPoint down below. I also have videos that tell you how WorthPoint works. You can type Bolo Buddies Worth Point into the YouTube search bar and find those videos. So anyway, she said, I still have all the other buttons to list. So they were all clear profit. Love you and your videos. Thank you. Sorry, I was unable to download my screenshot, but enclosed a photo of the button. Here is the button. This is what it looks like. And it sold for $149.99 with one bid. And this comes from Sharon Sells 49. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. And if anybody else has bought anything from me or anyone else, please go over to the Facebook group and share your whatnot bolo. These are super fun because it's new. It's a new place to source. Bought this Joan Rivers watch and bracelet from Courtney's Bolo Buddies Whatnot Jewelry Show. So this one is another one from my jewelry show. And I didn't look it up. I knew that it was probably a Bolo, but I didn't research it. Joan Rivers typically is an item that you want to research. So she bought it for $34.89. That includes shipping and fees. And she sold it on eBay auction for $196.18. And after fees and shipping was $160.12, all said and done, she made a profit of $132.23. She said, this was my first eBay auction experience. That is awesome. And thank you all for sharing. We're going to keep going here. I have another post. Let me find it here, pull up the comments, and I'm going to share some more with you. Paid $10 for this shirt in August on whatnot and sold for full asking price on eBay for $59. It is a vintage and authentic 2004 John Cena World Life WWE t-shirt, and it even has cracked print. Sold for $156, shipped to Mexico, paid $35 on whatnot. It is a McFarlane Toys HR Geiger 2004 3D sculpture statue figure. Authentic. And this is what it looks like. Purchased these from Bolo Buddies in a lot. Cost of goods was about $4-ish. Sold on eBay within two days of listing after Christmas. So she bought it on whatnot from me. I had a Christmas sale and I will tell you, I remember selling these. These were uh, nativity wise men. They were the three Kings. She bought a box full. There were other items in the lot and she parted it out, but she put the three Kings together and these were not in perfect condition. And she still sold them for $28 and 99 cents plus shipping. 
This one came from Got Junk in Our Trunk. This is her YouTube channel. She is also a moderator of this Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So go show her some love over on her YouTube channel. I will link her down below and tell her thank you. But yeah, she got this from me on Whatnot. So thank you so much, everyone that has purchased from me. Again, if you're not on Whatnot, go down below, get that free $15 to shop. Then you can buy something to make money. You can buy something to resell. Paid $150 for a mystery game lot. Have this that sold, plus a few other handhelds I sold separately. And a video game show scheduled show scheduled this coming Sunday with this remaining. I think I'll net about $600 from the whole purchase. So this one right here, whoa, is a Nintendo Game Boy Color Rental Hard Carry Case PL816 and Game Boy console and camera. So she bought it on whatnot for 150 and it looks like she sold this on eBay and then she sold a couple other things and it looks like she was bringing the other items to whatnot to have a, to sell the additional games. And I'm not sure what her whatnot is. She did not mention it. So if you're watching, please share that down in the comments. This one comes from Vintage Spice and she is a Bolo Buddies member. And what's what that means is she has joined Bolo Buddies memberships on my YouTube channel. You can join down below. There is a link. And at level two, you get a pop up of your eBay store or YouTube channel and a link in the description. She said, I bought in a lot of ephemera on whatnot. I have maybe 50 cents into it sold on eBay for a best offer of $20. So she bought it on whatnot in an ephemera lot. So 50 cents once she broke it all down and sold it for 20 bucks. It is a San Juan guided scenic Jeep tours, vintage brochure. So ephemera, some of ephemera is bread and butter. Some is big money, but a lot of times you can pick it up cheap in a lot. Like she said, she got all of it for one money, about 50 cents in the one item and flipped it into 20. So that is awesome. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds. That is her eBay store. You can check her out down below in the description. I'll link her. She said, purchased on Whatnot for $4. Sold on eBay internationally to Greece. Amazing Spider-Man. I'm not sure what this is exactly, but this is what it looks like. And she sold it for $37.79 plus shipping. I got this bear on Whatnot. I think I paid $3 for it. He is a teach kids with diabetes about injection sites. Oh, that's cool. So uh, this is what the bear looks like. And she sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. So sourced it for three, flipped it for 25 plus shipping. This was part of a ephemera lot I bought on whatnot. And I think I paid five or six for it. I took a best offer of 22 on this print. From the same lot, I sold an old river, old river baptism photo for around 40 and a snapshot of Chuck Norris with a fan for something like 20. Those are both too old. They aren't popping up on my phone. So it was one big ephemera lot that she paid five or six bucks for all of it. And it looks like she sold something for 40, something for 20 and this item for 22. And it's a Warner Brothers animation art promotional card. Bugs Bunny Baseball. So yes, a lot of people are selling things in lots, which are great for resellers because then you can part those items out and make more money. Purchase this sweater from Bolo Buddies on Whatnot for $13.31, all in. Sold it for $48.88, my full price. I made $25.73 after fees. It is a vintage hand net knit women's fair isle cardigan sweater medium large with hearts and this is what it looks like yeah so i had a vintage clothing um show early on and i sold so many amazing vintage clothing items and i featured some of those in another video that some people bought from me they were in the featured members facebook group shares what sold video some really cool embellished uh vintage items so all right, here's another one. Purchased on Whatnot for a dollar. 
plus $5 shipping listed on eBay in three separate auction lots starting at 30 each. A buyer needed them to finish it, finish his collection and offered me 50 per lot. So I took it sold within an hour of listing them. They are finger puppets made by Stanley manufacturing. I think they're so cute. And that's why I got them. I had no clue they had value like this until I was about to list them. So she paid a dollar plus five shipping and listed on eBay in three separate auctions. Oh my goodness, you guys. Are you ready? She sold these vintage rubber uglies monster creature figure toys, Slurfies, for 50 bucks. This lot for $50. And this other lot for $50 as well. So she turned about six bucks into $150. That is incredible. All right, you guys, those are some bolos of items that people bought on whatnot and flipped for a profit. And we can't forget the one from, whoops, from this video right here. Go check it out if you missed it. I will link this video down in the description of this video. And this is my most watched video. So check out the little thumbnail. You can see why it was so popular, but yes, you can source on whatnot. Now, I want to invite you all just to come check out whatnot. My show is tonight, Sunday, at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing jewelry. I want you to come over. No pressure to buy. You guys, please feel free to come to the show anytime you want and just check it out. Hang out in the chat. It's just like kind of watching a live show on YouTube or um, watching a premiere, you can talk in the chat and it's kind of fun. So even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. I invite you to come hang out and with no pressure to buy. How is that? So that link again is down below and you're going to get that $15 to shop. You do not have to spend that on my show. You can spend that with anybody on whatnot. So check that out down below. All right, Bolo Buddies, I am having a show on Whatnot tonight. It's going to be a jewelry show. It is going to be awesome. So I hope you will join me at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, Sunday the 18th. I had to see what day it was. So bookmark it now, and I will link that down below, the actual link to take you into the show if you're already on Whatnot. And you can also search Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase, and you will find me. So... I'm going to show you some of the stuff I might be bringing tonight. I have this incredible bag of vintage necklaces. Look at this beauty right here, this pink one. Oh, beautiful. So I may bring those tonight. I've got a whole bunch of stick pins. I may do these in small lots. I have earrings lots. These are crafters. I've got these all labeled to sell as lots. So they will be small lots. You can resell them. They can be reseller lots. Depends on what you guys get them for, but I've got clip-ons. I've got regular earrings. I've got crafter's earrings. All right, so I have all kinds of brooches. These are all full. You guys have not seen any of these brooches. Some of them are pick one, pick two, pick three. Some of them are even pick four and pick five. I've also got all of these that are crafter's brooches. Some of them are really old and vintage. They are incredible. They just need rhinestones and stuff like that. They are damaged in some way, need cleaned up. So I have three bags of those. If anybody's interested in seeing those tonight, let me know. Tell me what you think about this. This is all single earrings. And I figured somebody could craft with these. I will probably break it up into smaller lots. If anybody's interested in seeing small lots of single earrings to craft with, let me know down in the comments. That's something I can do. And of course, I've got all of this jewelry. So we are going to have an awesome, awesome show tonight. Can't wait to see you. Thanks so much for the support. And I'll see you guys tonight at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let's get on with the show. And then the other question was about how do you make an eBay coupon? And I haven't done a video on that, but I watched one that Courtney did on Bolo Buddies a while back, a long time ago, I think and it was a good one so you can go check that out and as always there's going to be some videos popping up here and here a subscribe and a video down below and thanks for watching have a great day see you tonight